Are you looking for the best welder in 2025 but don't know which one to choose? Whether you're a beginner, a hobbyist, or a seasoned pro, the right welder can make all the difference in your projects. Today, we're ranking five popular welders from the weakest to the absolute best. So stick around to find out which one comes out on top. Coming in at number five is the Tulium TL-135S, a compact and budget-friendly stick welder that's great for beginners. This little machine is super lightweight, making it easy to move around the garage or job site. If you're looking for something simple and straightforward to weld mild steel and stainless steel, this might be the perfect entry-level option. The TL-135S delivers a 135 amp output, which is decent for small to medium welding projects. With a 60% duty cycle at full power, it's capable of handling moderate tasks without overheating too quickly. The design is user-friendly with an easy-to-read interface and it works well with standard 1 8 inch electrodes. Compared to the others on this list, it's the most basic. But that's exactly what some people need. That said, this welder is limited to 110 volts, which means it lacks the power and flexibility of dual voltage machines. It's also not designed for heavy duty welding or extended use. So professionals will want to look elsewhere. And while the 60% duty cycle is decent, it does require cooling breaks during longer projects. So you should get this welder. If you're new to welding and want a low-cost, reliable machine for light fabrication, repairs, or learning the basics, the Tulium is a solid choice. But if you need more power or plan to work on thicker materials, you'll want to check out the next welder on our list. By the way, all the welders featured in this review are linked in the description below at the best prices, so be sure to check them out. Next up at number four, we have the Yes Welder Flux 135 Pro, a compact multi-process welder that brings a little more versatility than the Tulium. If you're looking for something that can handle MIG, stick and lift TIG in a single unit, this welder is worth considering. One of its biggest advantages is the gasless flux core MIG capability, which makes it perfect for outdoor welding where wind might be an issue. It also features lift TIG for cleaner, more precise welds though you'll need to buy the TIG torch separately. The digital display makes it easier to fine tune settings and at 12 pounds, it's incredibly portable. However, the 110 volt limitation still applies, meaning this isn't a powerhouse welder. It also doesn't support gas shielded MIG. So if you are hoping to use it for traditional MIG welding with shielding gas, you're out of luck. And while it can handle up to two fifth inch steel, it struggles with certain stick welding rods due to lower open circuit voltage. So who is this welder for? If you need a lightweight, gasless MIG and stick welder for household repairs, automotive work, or DIY projects, the S Welder Flux is a great buy. It offers more features than the Tulium, but if you need dual voltage flexibility or higher amperage, stay tuned for the next options. If you're enjoying this breakdown so far, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. We post in-depth reviews like this all the time and you won't want to miss them. At number three, we have the GZ Guoji MIG200P, a feature-rich seven-in-one welding machine that promises a lot, but does it deliver? With dual voltage support and multiple welding modes, it stands out as one of the most versatile welders on this list. This machine lets you switch between gas MIG, flux core MIG, stick, and lift TIG and even spot welding, making it a true all-rounder. It also features dual LCD displays, so you get real-time feedback on voltage and current. If you work on a mix of materials, including aluminum, this unit allows for spool gun compatibility. But here's where things get a little uncertain. Unlike other welders, the duty cycle isn't specified, meaning we don't know exactly how long it can run under load. Also, the weight isn't listed, making it hard to judge its portability. Lastly, some accessories like the TIG torch and spool gun are sold separately, so you may need to spend extra to unlock its full potential. So should you buy the GZ Guoji? If you need a multi-process welder that can handle aluminum and don't mind investing in extra accessories, it's a great option. But if you prefer something with more well-documented performance and reliability, you may want to wait for our next pick. Taking the runner-up spot at number two, we have the Built Hard WLD-1603, a heavy-duty MIG welder that packs serious power. If you need something with high amperage and advanced features, this might be the best welder for your workshop. This machine delivers up to 250 amps, 
making it one of the most powerful options on our list. It supports both gas and flux core MIG, allowing for versatile welding on different metals, including aluminum. One of its standout features is inductance and burnback adjustments, which help fine tune the arc for cleaner welds. Plus, with dual voltage compatibility, you can use it in various work environments. However, portability takes a hit with this one. Weighing in at 33 pounds, it's the heaviest welder on this list. So it's not the best option if you need to move it around frequently. Also, while the machine itself is solid, some users report that the included accessories aren't the best quality. Lastly, customer support could be better, as Built Hard isn't as widely recognized as some other brands. So who is the Built Hard WLD 1603 for? If you're a serious hobbyist or professional who needs a high-powered MIG welder for demanding jobs, this one is a fantastic choice. But if you need TIG functionality or something more portable, you'll want to check our number one pick. Taking the top spot as the best welder in this roundup is the Yes Welder. This machine is an absolute game changer for those who need precision welding, especially for aluminum, stainless steel, and mild steel. Unlike the other models, the TIG 200P ACDC features ACDC capability, meaning you can weld aluminum with greater precision and control. It also includes pulse TIG functionality, which is perfect for working on thin materials without burning through. The digital control panel allows for precise parameter adjustments, and you get both HF start and foot pedal compatibility for the best TIG welding experience. Now, while this welder is the most advanced on the list, it's not perfect. Some users mentioned that the included foot pedal could be more sensitive, and while the torch is decent, it may not meet professional standards. If you need more high-end features or plan on welding very thick materials, you might need to invest in a top-tier industrial welder instead. So, who should buy the Yes Welder? If you want the best balance of power, features, and versatility for TIG and stick welding, this is hands down the best option. Whether you're a serious hobbyist, automotive fabricator, or even a professional, this machine delivers the best performance for the price. And that wraps up our list of the best welders of 2025. Whether you're looking for a budget-friendly option, a high-powered MIG welder, or the ultimate TIG machine, we've covered something for everyone. Remember, you can check out all these welders at the best prices using the links in the description below. If you found this review helpful, hit that subscribe button and subscribe to the channel for more detailed, no-nonsense reviews. Have a favorite welder or a suggestion for our next review? Drop a comment below. We'd love to hear from you. Thanks for watching, and happy welding.